Lesson 7, Account Setup, Part 3. You play Battle.net, League of Legends, and GOG accounts. You play. Two-factor authentication, here called two-step verification, supports Google Authenticator and trusted devices. Everything is the same as in Origin from the last lesson, so we won't dwell on this. Instead, let's take a look at login history in the security section. This lists the last five logins under your username. Take the time to check this section now and again, and if the list contains any unfamiliar locations or devices, change your password immediately. That will also have the effect of logging out anyone using your account on the sly. As for privacy settings, you won't find any here. This is not great news. Personal information such as email, name, and date of birth is not visible to anyone, but your username, avatar, and some game statistics, account level, achievements, games purchased, can be seen by everyone, even non-friends. That is, it's very easy for a scammer to ascertain how active you are, what interests you, and what phishing messages to cast in your direction. On the plus side, until an attacker is friended, they won't be able to write you messages, and he doesn't know your email address. So if you don't accept friend requests from random strangers, you'll be protected from many risks. That's it for you, Play. Battle.net. In the Battle.net settings under Account Summary, you can link your account to your phone to receive security notifications. For example, you will be notified if someone changes your password or security settings, or say your account gets blocked due to suspicious login attempts. In the security section, you can set a security question and two-factor authentication, which uses a separate app, Blizzard Authenticator, available on the App Store and Google Play. Like Uplay, Battle.net lets you view your most recent logins at the very bottom of the security section. You already know what to do with this information. In terms of privacy, Battle.net users have far greater freedom. For a start, you can customize the visibility of your profile, as well as games and links in it, and then make this information available to everyone, friends only, or just you. Battle.net also has the real name feature, which can be enabled in the privacy settings on the site. If enabled, this feature lets you share your real name when sending and accepting friend requests. In each specific case, you decide whether or not to do it. If the feature is disabled, only your handle is seen in friend requests. Why use it at all? The feature opens up additional options, such as in-game chat and the ability to view each other's friend lists. It's always up to you what name to use, but even with the feature enabled, only trusted people get to see your real name. Battle.net also lets you block users in the normal way, stop non-friends from messaging you, and hide your online status. League of Legends and GOG. From a security perspective, these accounts are nothing out of the ordinary. They offer just the basic settings, which we talked about in Lesson 5. Note only that in both, two-factor authentication is enabled by default, which is good, but codes are sent only by email, which is bad. As for privacy settings, League of Legends is just as sparse. However, the only personal information requested for your profile is your email, which is not shown to anyone. On the other hand, your game statistics can be seen even by non-friends, so when using in-game chat, take care not to fall prey to an artful fisher. In GOG, things are more interesting privacy-wise. In the privacy section, you get to choose who can write you messages and separately configure who sees your activity, friends, games, and wish list. You can also hide your account to avoid landing in search results by email or username or through friends' recommendations. It's up to you to decide what to do with all these settings, but exposing your profile data to everyone is not advised. So, is everything done and dusted with game accounts? Not quite. There are still consoles. That's the topic of the next lesson.